Doctor, you touched on this earlier before we started, but um, how big of an issue are sleep problems when it comes to um, memory and cognition, e either present or down the line as we get older? Yeah, so the, actually this is another surprise um, about the sleep. And actually uh, when I uh, started this, uh, when I started to look the human uh, memory system, I was originally looking from molecular point of view, looking one molecule and um, which bring a region. But recently I found the, um, the sleep uh, seems to be an important issue uh, to be uh, worried about it. And obviously for even for, for ordinary people, and if you uh, lost sleep and the day after you lost that sleep and you feel um, uh, actually less in, feel tired and not energetic, and if we carry out a memory test during that period of time, and you may not pay f perform that well. Mm -hmm. I mean, even normal person. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, it's typical if you a ask any person uh, when they're getting old, you say, well, number one is when you are young, you probably sleep seven hours uh, unless you set along for yeah. whatever you have a work to do. But if you put your natural sleep pattern, uh, a lot of people sleep seven to eight hours. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, if you're a baby, you sleep for 20 hours. <laughs> But when, they, when, they, when you're getting old, actually, a number of, of our you know, deep sleep actually reduced. Um, so we recent studies show when you actually uh, have less sleep or sleep uh, very shallow, and your brain are not fully recovered. Okay. So that directly impact your memory function day after the sleep. Mm -hmm. So uh, we think actually uh, soft, uh, for when you're getting old, soft, before we say, oh, when well, you're getting old, you should uh, you know, sleep less, you might even consider that's normal, mm -hmm. right? Because, you know, uh, children sleep 20 hours, and young, you know, uh, adults sleep like you know, 8 hours or 10 hours. When you're getting old, you gradually uh, sleep less, less. And you might feel, so what? You know, that's mm -hmm. just part of aging. But our research and other people's research show when you actually have less and less sleep, that prevents the uh, brain recovery from daily activity. So from that angle, if we can increase the amount of sleep per night for, uh, for uh, aging population, it's going to help their cognitive function significantly.